Judges know their criteria. Creativity, use of technology, polish slash cool factor, and functionality. No business plans, no monetization, no economic viability. <laughs> Basically, the idea is the have a, you know people always have air guitars, the same thing concept applied to a violin or a cello. Um, Basically, what we have is ultrasonic sensors working with the Raspberry Pi. The ultrasonic sensors use a sound. It records how long before the uh, return signal, and that tells you how close or how far something is away from the sensors. We use four sensors, three to capture the movement of the bow, and one to capture the movement of your fingers or your hand. And depending on how far your fingers are away from the sensors, and the movement of the bow, which string is being played, we adjust an audio file on the pitch to play the right note. It detects the velocity of your hand, and it plays a uh, note. You can actually change notes if you want. <laughs> so this was very much um, we thought about this idea on the way here. Uh, we were like, who needs to borrow a wearable? We can make our own. And that turned out to be hard. So you can't really see the details, but essentially what we're doing is that we're tracking the um, battery level on the phone. We're also tracking whether the phone is uh, plugged in or not. Uh, we're tracking the compass direction. and. Uh, Ahmed has a Fitbit, and we're also uh, pulling data from his user account uh, and trying to put some of that information there. So when we went to a restaurant, I was like, "Wow, th these portion sizes are terrible. And this dish kind of sucks." It's like, I wish there was an app that would show me how bad it would be, so I can choose the least baddest. I mean, wait, that's not what. I mean, the worst. I mean, the least was food. So this is how it's born. So it's like Basically, we created a, a head smashing action packed uh, action game, which uh, involves using the Kiwi Move. And uh, so we decided to take uh, head banging to the location that you want to battle each other at. So he can lean left and right, and he can smash his opponent, he can dodge. <laughs> Bicycle. Uh, hilariously, the gambling portion of it isn't really built yet, but the game part is, and it's fun. But yeah, so we took an Arduino, we hooked it up to a Hall effect sensor. There's some magnets on the back of that bike, and that's basically dems. It's basically driving the game. Uh, that video input, that input there, is driving how fast the video is playing. These are off-the-shelf RC cars. Um, and we basically rewired the whole thing with uh, the tensionometers you know, from the Raspberry Pi, so we're controlling the voltage to actually um, make the boat uh, go forward, backwards, or uh, turn one, turn one website controls one car, and the other website controls the other car. And right now, they're set up as separate servers. People click on the direction they want to go, and the direction that gets the most votes gets submitted. And then the last step of our application was setting it up in a virtual reality. 